How you guys doing today? Mark Franks from PlentyOfGadgets.com. Guys, has, has there ever been a time where you wanted to show something on your phone to a lot of people, but you didn't want everybody over you? You kind of wanted to like project that to the TV or you have a presentation on a PowerPoint and you didn't have a projector handy, but there was a big TV right next to you. Well, today I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to screen mirror from your devices to your TV. Now, uh, behind me, I have a Fire TV. So this, this is going to be for anybody who has a Fire TV or use a Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so first we're, we're going to start off with the two simplest devices first. All right, so we're going to start off with the Android phone and we're going to start off with the Windows PC. These both of these devices work well with the uh, Fire Stick configurations, so you won't have any issues there. Now, with the iPhone and the iPad and the Mac, you're going to have to download an extra app and we'll go through all those settings later. So let's go ahead and get started with the Android phone. All right, guys. So when the first things first, before you start your screen mirroring process, uh, make sure that your TV and your phone is on the same Wi-Fi. Because the last thing you want is you're trying to start this screen mirroring and you're on different Wi-Fi, you're on different SS, SSID names, or you're using extra routers and it's just not working. So make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi. Uh, what you'll do here is you grab your remote control and you hold the home button on your remote control. Hold it down and you hold, let me do it here. And you get the settings to the right. So all you do is you go down to where it says display mirroring and you go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see what it says display mirroring. It'll say note while mirroring Alexa, Alexa functionality will be temporarily disabled. Text and mirroring enable Alexa. Press any button on your remote. So you'll leave your screen here, then you'll go to your Android phone, and then you'll go ahead and turn the screen mirror on on your Android phone, and it'll connect to this screen here. Now, if, go back here to the home, let's go ahead and exit that. If you don't, you don't see that, this, that screen display in there in the shortcut, what you do is you can go home, and you can go all the way to the right, go to your settings, and then you go, to, go all the way to display and sounds, let me put my code in here. All right, then you go all the way down, not Apple AirPlay or HomeKit, you go all the way down to where it says enable display mirroring. And then once you do that, it'll basically take you to the same screen. Now you have to leave it at this, leave it on this screen and then go to your Android, your Samsung and then activate screen mirroring on your phone. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. So this is a Samsung Galaxy S9. So basically all you do is real simple to go ahead and project this to your TV. I have it my uh, TV in a display mirroring mode. All you do is you'll go ahead and swipe down here. Bring this down. It may be it's not on this page. It may be on a different page. You're looking for the icon that says Smart View. So icon that says Smart View. If you don't have Smart View, you can always download it from Google Play. So let's go ahead and click on that. You know, tell me which TV I want. My TV is Marquez's TV. I'll go ahead and click this. And it'll give you a disclaimer. It's the start, start casting with Smart View. Smart View will have access to all your information that is visible on the screen are played from your phone while casting this includes information such as passwords payments details photos messages and audio that you play so if you are casting this in public just be be aware of that so you you go ahead and hit start now and it's processing let's see what's doing up here it's also processing it says preparing to mirror the display from your device to marquez's tv all right It's still thinking and there it goes. And that's my phone. Okay. And that's pretty much it. 
Now to turn screen mirroring off, you just pretty much do the same thing, but do it in reverse. Just go ahead and slide it down. Go ahead and go to the next page. And then it'll say your TV's name on there. It says Marquez's TV. I'll go ahead and click it. And then it'll say display and mirror is excellent. Please wait. And then you're pretty much good to go. All right, guys. So how to cast your PC to your TV. To your fire tv or fire stick tv so what i have here is i have a 13.3 inch samsung galaxy book it's a windows 11. go ahead and turn it on here now it's on so I'm gonna show you guys how to cast your PC to your TV now if you're doing a presentation you can take your Amazon fire stick and you can place into a TV in public or whatever room you're doing a presentation in. you can cast what's on your laptop to your TV so basically it's like a dual monitor but it's gonna be wireless you don't have to use an HDMI cord anymore so basically what you do guys is it's real simple I have Windows 11 on here, but it, this should work for Windows 10 as well. You go ahead and right click. Then you'll see where it says display settings. Go ahead and click on display settings. And then you'll go down to where it says multiple displays. Then let me scroll down here. And then you'll see where it says connect to a wireless display. Now make sure that your TV is in a display mirroring mode, but you, now you'll see where it says connect to wireless display and you go to the right and you'll connect. So go ahead and click connect and it's looking for available displays and there I have it, it has my TV name here. So I'll go ahead and click that and now it says connecting and voila. So basically we have that as my camera focuses. Let me go ahead and minimize the screen. So there we have it on the uh, on the TV. So it's that easy. Now there's also a tab over here where you can just disconnect, but it's it's that easy. Pretty simple. If you're doing a presentation, you can use this instead of using the HDMI cord. It's, it works pretty good. I think the latency is just a, a few milliseconds behind, but other than that. It's, it's good. It's, it's definitely good to have that. So if you're out and about, you can just bring your fire stick, little fire stick and just plug into any TV and go ahead and connect your fire, to, fire stick to a Wi-Fi. And then you can, you know, cash your PC to the TV. So there you have it. All right, guys. So next up, I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your iPhone, your iPad and your Mac mini. Or I have a Mac mini here or just a, a Mac Air or a Mac Pro. Now, Mac, um, Apple has a huge ecosystem, it's great, but sometimes they don't play real friendly with other devices, any third-party devices. But that's okay when it comes to screen mirroring because we can add up, we can download a separate app. And the app that I want you guys to download is gonna be, it's gonna be called AirScreen. Now, AirScreen is a paid, it's, it's a free uh, app, but to get the best of it, to get the unlimited services, you have to pay a subscription. I believe it's maybe one to two dollars, maybe three dollars max a month, or you can pay like twenty two dollars a year to get an unlimited version of it. But it works very well. You can cast all your Apple products to the TV. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to get that done. OK, guys, real quick, I forgot to tell you. If your TV is compatible with Apple Play, like my TV behind me, this is a Toshiba Fire TV 2021, and it is compatible with Apple Play. If, you, if your TV is compatible with Apple Play, then you do not have to download AirScreen. Now, I'll leave a link below of all the TVs that are compatible with Apple Play because you may very well have Apple Play already on your TV. All right, and if that's the case, real briefly here, I'll show you how to set up uh, screen mirroring with Apple Play. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Um, but again, if you have, if your TV is compatible 
with Apple Play, then you don't have to download AirScreen. So if you have your iPad, your Mac, and your iPhone, it all connects to Apple Play. So let me, let's, let, let me show you guys how to do that real quick. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you how to connect to Apple AirPlay. So this is gonna be for a Fire TV and a Fire Stick. Now, if you have a different type of TV, the process may be a little bit different to get to Apple Play. But let me show you guys how to do it. So all you do is you go all the way to the right to Settings. Next, you go all the way down, or go over to where it says Display and Sounds. Let me put my code in here. All right, now you go all the way down to where it says Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. All right, in this screen right here, you have a choice. You can turn your Apple AirPlay on or off, and you can require a code. I have every time. You can, you can use first time only or use a password instead. I'll leave it at every time. Go back. All right, so we'll leave it here on this, on this particular page, and let's go to our phone. All right, on my iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and swap the screen down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit screen mirror. And there it goes, Marquez's TV. That's the name of my Fire TV. Go ahead and click that. Now it's gonna ask for an AirPlay code. And that should be on the TV. So it is, it's on the TV. So it says 6868. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here on my phone. So let's do it. 6868 and press OK. And there we have it. It's screen mirroring on my TV. It's that easy. Now to stop it, you have a button down here that says stop mirroring. So you can just hit stop mirroring. And that's how you uh, screen mirror Apple AirPlay. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror your iPhone to your TV. So after you've, after you've downloaded the AirScreen app, let's go ahead and select it. And then what we're gonna press is we're gonna press scan Q QR code. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And this is this is just a screen, it's just making sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi. So it's making sure that your phone is on the same Wi-Fi as your TV. So we're gonna, it, it is, I see it in the side, same Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead and confirm. All right, next is the QR code. So let's go ahead and on my phone, we're gonna go to the camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and place it there. And it got the website, so I'll go ahead and hit the website. And then it'll ask uh, what which type of content do you wanna share? We're gonna go ahead and do entire screen. And it's showing us how to screen mirror. All we do is gonna slide down here and the button that says screen mirror, we'll go ahead and screen mirror. Now we'll see where it says the AS and the AFT and it says AirPlay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna hit that one it's processing. And there we have it. Sometimes you may get a code, just, just put the code in, but it's, it's that easy. And it, it works the same for iPads as well. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror your iPad. Now, it's gonna be the same as your iPhone. Just make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi. You go ahead and slide your screen down. And then you'll see with these two squares, that's where it's, that's screen mirroring. You go ahead and click that. And then you'll see the ASAFT, that's the name of your device. Go ahead and click that. And then up, up here on my TV, it should start processing. And there you have it, that simple. That's how you screen mirror your iPad. It's gonna be the exact same as your iPhone. All right, guys. So lastly, I want to show you how to mirror your Mac. Either you have, I have a Mac mini, but you can have a, a Mac laptop, Mac Air, Mac Pro. But I want to show you how to screen mirror your Mac to the TV. Now that ASAFTDCT31, you can change that name. All right, you can actually just on the side to the left, go down to settings where, and then go where it says device name and you can change this name. Just FYI. All right, so it's pretty easy here. Just to go ahead and screen mirror this to the TV. So you go to your Apple. 
go in, you go down where it says system preferences and then you'll see where it says displays let me focus here it's having a difficult time focusing for some reason today all right let me go ahead and put that on a different side all right much better so what you do is you go down to where it says displays at the bottom left and then you'll see down below where it says airplay display is off go ahead and hit this button to the right and then you'll see where it says ASAFTD airplay you're going to click that and that should be processing up here shortly and there you have it it's uh, fairly easy I just connected my Mac mini to my fire stick TV so there you have it all right guys so that's pretty much it that's essentially how you connect your devices to your TV guys if you made it this far please hit that like and subscribe button I'm still a fairly new channel uh, still kind of in my infancy stages I would really appreciate it but other than that um, let me know how you like my videos uh, I'm going to start doing a bunch of how-to videos and I kind of mix it up a little bit and keep it simple for you guys. All right. So other than that, you guys have a great day.